this week we have something special. My friend Sean Rourke called me up and asked if he could come on to ask me some questions about uh, my process and um, making stuff in Los Angeles, and the state of the industry, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but uh, the interview went really, really, really long, so we decided to cut it up into a bunch of parts, and this is the first part. Uh, I hope you get a kick out of it. Uh, but definitely go and check out Sean's stuff if you go to thevampirescastle.com uh, and uh, or check out uh, his YouTube page under The Vampire's Castle. Um, then you'll get all sorts of vampire content from stuff that he has created to interviews with other vampire writers and sort of uh, a lot of help to get your vampire project off the ground if that's something that you want to be doing because this dude loves vampires more than anything and he's also one of the most uh, talented and dedicated creators I know. Uh, he is, um, I really admire his work ethic and sort of keeping his head on straight about just getting the stuff done and uh, and and uh, and being responsible to what you love and uh, so he's a bit of an inspiration I was really happy to um, talk with him and I was thrilled to get the call so uh, I hope you enjoy the interview and uh, let's see outside of that uh, this week was pretty good we got a bunch of animation done for the show uh, you'll see hopefully some of that next week um, and uh, oh, and Gareth's uh, graphic novel is out. His latest graphic novel called Graceling is out. If you go to GarethHines.com, you can check it out there. Uh, it is incredibly beautiful. I have a copy already, and uh, he adapted it from the YA novel of the same name. Uh, completely amazing. Um, so uh, go check it out, buy a copy, and uh, please tell us that you did. We're totally psyched. Anyway. Uh, hope you get a kick out of the interview, and um, probably see you on the other side. Bye. Uh, hi guys. I I am not G Wes or Dan. Uh, <laughs> my name is Sean, and uh, I have nothing to do with Make a Thing or Dan's channel at all. Uh, but I am uh, a friend of Dan's. I have known him for I don't know, like fifteen years or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's got to be uh, sure. And I've sort of been orbiting sort of uh, on the outside and occasionally in and out of his creative endeavors uh, for a long time. And so I, I have been accustomed to, you know, watching Dan making his short films and reading Dan's screenplays and listening to Dan, uh, you know, with a glass of scotch talking deep into the night about <laughs> movies. And so, uh, so, and then, you know, the pandemic happens and you don't see people in person for a long time. And then suddenly Dan starts doing this thing called Make a Thing on his YouTube channel. And it's like, oh my God, I'm listening to Dan talk about his process for the first time in years. And, and so I've just been like, I've just been glued to this thing. And I look forward to every Friday night. I'm just like, oh, is there a new one that's dropped? So, uh, so this, so what you're getting is my excuse to just have a conversation with Dan about Dan and his, his endeavors. And I thought, well, maybe let's just record this. And then I'll just like, I'll just give it to Dan and like, here, th now you don't have to worry about an episode for this week. So uh... <laughs> I, I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for everybody else, if, uh, if, uh, we're not going to be, there's going to be no scotch drinking along a long time. You have, we're going to put up a drink a thing, which is going to be a totally separate <laughs> podcast <laughs> to cover all of that. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm basically just gonna just gonna ask Dan uh, uh, some questions. And uh, when Dan was like, "Oh yeah, let's do this," I was like, "Awesome!" And I wrote like 27 questions. And then I was like, "This is terrible. Like these these questions are not anything I actually want to know." So I pitched them all out, and I've got five. I've got five awesome. questions to ask awesome. you. So it's not, but you know, take as long as you want. It's only going to be five questions, so we, you know, this on my show it's always like an hour to an hour and a half, but we'll we'll keep it down to to Dan's format here of uh, not that long. So, <laughs> um, so, so, make a thing, and Wisteria, and mm -hmm. the other project that you're doing called Glitch. Do yes. I have that right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's actually been renamed uh, the Big Glitch because. Oh. Uh, there's a there's a Netflix show from Australia I, or something along those lines. It's called Glitch, and we didn't want to 
to confuse people on that. So we mm. we we went with a, sort of like a as it's a very sort of uh, uh, film noiry kind of plot. We want to go with like the big sleep kind of kind of a flavor for the title. So now now it's currently called the big glitch. Interesting. We'll before too long, but that's in fact I was literally just working on it um, moments before you called, where I'm doing a bullet uh, bullet hole mat in this dude's forehead uh and uh which I, I i'm excited to do anyway it's just it's great fun to do this but i i am forced to do this because i did not get the shot of him being shot in the head so i'm taking a a, a little bit of pre-roll before <laughs> another line we found while he was doing uh <laughs> speeding it up and putting a blood effect on that's awesome that's fantastic and that is i mean that right there is real movie making that's, that's, uh, that's the heart of it, right? That's, the heart of the <laughs> that's like, oh, damn it. We didn't get that. <laughs> what, can, yeah. what can we do instead? <laughs> exactly. Cut away to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more or less it. That's awesome. But, yep. um, so, okay. So, so uh, all of that in mind, you've, you know, you've got things that you're working on here and, that, and, and you're being you know, very forthright uh, on this channel about what it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so here is my question and, and it's, uh, you know, answer this however you want, but I get the feeling having watched these last several episodes of Make a Thing that something has changed in you creatively <laughs> and I'm mm -hmm. dying to know what that is. <laughs> uh yeah i uh yeah you're i think yeah you're right and uh uh i'm i suppose i'm i'm glad that that's visible externally um uh I, i'm pretty sure how can i say it like i can tell you what that is and uh it's gonna sound really bad uh, but i just want to sort of prep people before i, I, can't I say wait. it i can't wait <laughs> is i gave up <laughs> I, I i just totally gave up and uh <laughs> and it um uh yeah i mean like uh you know we were talking earlier like you know we've we've known each other um for a, a, a fair fair bit of time in um in uh in the industry and uh as uh as friends and as uh sort of just uh, a couple fellas that trade work back and forth and uh and um i think that <clears throat> uh i don't know i suppose everybody like everybody who you know comes out to hollywood to make movies or whatever it is like everyone goes through more or less the same process um uh you know like you like you're super scared and super excited you move out here and you know you take a big crack at it and uh and uh and sometimes you know you know sometimes you get a, a big hit off of it and things work and sometimes you don't or sometimes it comes a little later uh or or sometimes you just some you know friends of mine have just bailed because it's it's too stressful and which i i also totally get um but at some point like uh it, uh uh i had to come to grips with the idea that like i was putting an enormous amount of energy uh, into convincing other people um, that um, I deserved a shot, you know, uh, and uh, whether it's like <clears throat> writing pitches or uh, trying to pitch TV shows or, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I've, you know, I've been around the circuit doing that for a long time. And I've written a, a, like a, there's for the zombie film that uh, uh, Sean is in for everybody who wants to check out spoiler uh, <laughs> uh, like it's it's a pretty good short film. I'm, I'm super. I'm incredibly proud of it. Um, but it was in the business of trying to make that happen for a long time. You know, like you know, taking that, uh, pitching it to executives, his TV show, and all this kind of jazz. And uh, and when you're in the like this part, this portion of everyone's creative experience, um, when they come out to try to make movies here. Like I'm pretty sure everyone meets some level of this as long as they're as long as they're really trying and putting the work in. Like you're going to come up with come up to come up against this in some way, and it's exciting when it first happens. 
um, because you feel like, uh, like, oh shit, people are really pay attention. You feel really validated and like, uh, just like, oh no, I got this guy and he wants to make a thing. He wants me to introduce this woman who was going to produce so-and-so. And, uh, and uh, you, it feels really legitimate. Um, and uh, that's because you're only looking at it from your point of view, which is like, people see my stuff and want to make my stuff. And in reality, you're one of a thousand people that they are interested in possibly, you know, maybe you're the, maybe you're the one, or maybe it's the other hundred people that I'm also doing this with. Um, and uh, which is their business and that's what they do. And that's totally, I mean, like they're like, they're, it's not that people aren't genuinely interested in what you're doing. It's just that the, uh, you know, you're so focused on doing it yourself. You think that you're the big winner, you know, and, and you're not, you're, you're just, you just made it to a phase of the process that many other people haven't. Um, and uh, what's really happening is your, you know, your, uh, your, your giving uh, most of your energy towards, instead of doing work, you're giving most of your energy towards trying to convince people that the work is valuable. When, if the work is valuable, it's the, the only people who can decide that are people that, you know, are the actual audience that sees it. You know, like you're asking, asking for permission over and over again from uh, a million different steps of producers isn't really that good for you yeah like it's yeah. not it's not a, it's not a very um like like i said on the front end it feels really exhilarating because you're plugged into hollywood and suddenly you're part of the the scene um and the scene is so much more complicated than that like i'm not faulting hollywood i'm not it's like they're here to crush your dreams but it's just like it's a giant business you know this is a business and they're not there to make you happy or famous they're there to create new product that they can sell and you are one of a thousand things today that is being considered and from their point of view that makes sense they're that's what they're gardening you know and that's good um and they will get things made this way and uh and so that process definitely works from that side but from the point of view of the of the carrot growing in the ground, <laughs> hoping that you're in the salad is not a way to get things done. <laughs> and so <laughs> the, uh, this is the, that's the big, uh, I can't, I can't even say it was like one specific thing. There were like, there's a, there were a number of things in my life that sort of like over the past, you know, 10 years or so that just I had to rearrange great swaths of my life to, um, uh, uh, to try to find greater happiness and uh, uh, which was you know extremely difficult and uh, and one of the things the sort of come to Jesus things about uh, movie making is that um, if if I really 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 love it then I should find a way to do it rather than to spend all my time asking people if I can do it um and uh and that means i have to give up on being famous you know i have to give up on being a millionaire uh or i have to give up on the idea of you know zillions of people are going to watch this or whatever it is um and i think that this is the sort of this is the thing this is the sort of midlife crisis element of it for any creative person is like if you are if you're compelled to do a thing even when there's no chance of any kind of payoff outside of having done the thing like nobody likes it nobody sees it and you have to pay for it yourself and that's the end and are you okay with that is that all right do you still want to do this and if you're still uh enthusiastically saying yes the idea of letting go of that makes you sad then you're choosing the right thing and in fact like as as a, much of a downer as it may seem to say like you know fucking give up on your dreams <laughs> but give up on those dreams just give up on them like dreams are dreams are always out there you know they're always in the future and that's it's a it's a it's like a place where uh, you can oh someday i'll be happy not now but someday 
Like, fuck that. Be happy right now. You have the ability to try you to choose to be happy right now. And, um, and if you, if you, uh, can be all right with, uh, the facing the truth of like, um, like you were never in the running, like that, you know, like wrapping your life around the idea of winning, you know, uh, Powerball is not a business, you know, like that's right. not a, that's not a business to be in, um, like build things so that if they work, then you can grow them, you know, like you, these are sellable products, you know, like it's stuff, you know, people want to, I want to buy t-shirts or, you know, maybe some dude comes along and says, here's you know $20 million. Um, and you do want the, what you, what you have to be structured so that that can make use of that, you know, um, but you don't want to think that you're a failure if you, if that doesn't happen. You know, like I look at the stuff that even the stuff that's up on my channel now, and I'm just like, I'm just fucking psyched that it's there. These are things that I've made. <laughs> like that's <laughs> this is what I wanted. You know, this is like I've I've been you know I'm I'm ultra lucky. I've lived lived an ultra blessed, ultra lucky life in a zillion ways, and um, you know I've been able to uh, have a, a decent career doing something that's you know pretty fun all day long you know i work i work in movies uh i work in streaming and uh and it's like that it's fine it's great i was i was under the illusion for a long time that this would lead like oh well you know i'm in vfx and somehow this will lead towards this will help me make movies like yeah as much as being a librarian will help you make movies like Nobody's clamoring for me to make a movie for them. They want the fucking matte paintings. <laughs> that's why they're talking yes. to me. Yes. So that's the, that's the, uh, that is the, I, I, like, I don't want it to sound like a downer. Cause I, like, I know people who um, have got, you know, like they were so frustrated with their progress uh, here that uh, they gave up and, and they went back to wherever they were originally from and uh and like i am 100 percent for that if it's honest i'm totally for it like if you're just like you know what this isn't my game this is not my jam i'm not having any fun and i want to go back to you know the midwest you know where i was totally happy and doing some other stuff and that was great like if you are if you can honestly say that and you are happy in that choice then that is the choice you should make like that's the happiness choice that's the choice you should go after uh, whereas like many people I know who have done this now they are back in their place that they came from and they're like man the fucking system in Hollywood and then this big job. And I'm just like oh shit like, you, for, like your chances out here were are near zero but now they're absolutely zero and you're still upset <laughs> like, yes. that's terrible yes yeah. so that's 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 I think you know um you know like I said a lot of forces sort of um combined in my life um uh good good and bad and the culmination of some terrible choices on my part that forced uh you know some some real reckonings and stuff like that that served to sort of clarify what what the fuck i'm trying to do with my life and, and how i can enjoy myself and be happy and and share the things i love with the people i love and uh that comes down to just fucking give up the nonsense as much as you can and it's something i have to try to do every day you know, it's like I, I, oh, I gave it up and that's gone. I, I never feel that kind of pull again. You know, I'm just like, oh, and then, and then I never wanted to meet Steven Spielberg after that point. You know, it's like <laughs> every day, like I, I, I just, just work on the fucking thing, get it out there, work on the thing. And, and it, it accretes and, uh, and doing things like make a thing are a part of how I do that because like, it's a way to share things immediately and keep my mind in the moment. And also make me at least sort of just give me like a, keep it in mind, not to be like responsible or dependent on it, but just sort of like, just go, just keep it in mind, you know, like put it out of your week, keep your head in the game where it needs to be really. And then, uh, and see where, see, see how fast things build up. Have you felt a, any kind of a sense of relief once you cross oh, that threshold? Huge. In, like in, indescribably huge. Um, I like and the thing is, and I'll be honest because I, you know, I think that uh, you you were in a better position to see this uh, 
um, than I ever was. Because like, you know, for people that were people that are listening, like uh, Sean and I have been, uh, you know, like we share a lot of stuff with a, a sort of a group of writers that, we, you know, we often used to get together uh, weekly to talk about stuff. And, uh, and the, uh, like the, and this is not to be critical of anybody involved in that scene, but it's just so like, just for myself, the, there's a sort of uh, worried mania that comes along with a lot of talking about this stuff. You know, and you know, sort of trying to winnow things down to like, is it sellable? And is there other paths to it? Like, trying to work out all that kind of jazz. Whereas, like, you know, you in particular, um, like, you have always had a better vision of this than anyone, virtually anyone I know. Um, really? And I, absolutely, because like, you are like, you have stuff that you love and uh i i'm just gonna for people that don't know sean i would say look at his background right now <laughs> and see if you can discern <laughs> <laughs> the things uh that uh that compel him <laughs> and uh and he's not just the um, man you're not you're not just sort of uh into that uh into that zone like you're sort of uh you're attending to it all the time and uh, you're writing all the time and uh it's constantly putting stuff out share like sharing the sharing the love with the you know with the work you know and then putting the work out just putting it out and um i think that uh for a long time i don't know if i i mean i always loved your stuff but i don't know if i recognized the <laughs> like the genius of doing this like uh because my mind was uh, always in the future and uh uh as opposed to being being present and so like to say it's a relief is like it's a relief in not just like not just that doing it this other way was a was turning something i love into a stressful burden but it's the relief in sort of like like when you uh finally recognize you when you're like you're driving around you're totally fucking lost and your your phone's dead and then suddenly you go like oh shit i know this street okay good everything's good now everything's good now i know my way home now i know and everything's so like everything just gets clear again um and that's 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 much closer to the feeling i have it's just sort of like where the fuck was i all those years you know just like i was i was lost in the wilderness and uh and 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 it makes it much easier i mean i want to i want to paint too rosy a picture but it's like it's much easier to be um uh to to be aware of the fact that i'm having fun uh, because there's nothing else around it to worry me out of that position so yeah relief is a good way to think about it that is that is so good to hear that's so good to hear all right, that's the first part, uh, probably of five. I don't know. Anyway, it did go long, but we hope you're getting a kick out of it. And uh, I'll put up another section of that sometime soon. Come back next week for more Make a Thing. And uh, don't forget to visit uh, Sean's awesome website for uh, thevampirescastle.com. And I want to thank him once again for uh, such a great time. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.